That is a very fine Chardonnay you're not drinking. Go for a Collins. I've been a big Genesis fan ever since the release of their 1980s album. Now before that, I really didn't understand any of their work. It was too artsy, too intellectual. However, it was on Duke where Phil Collins' parents became more apparent. I personally think at Invisible Touch of the group's undisputed masterpiece. It's an epic meditation. And at the same time, it deepens and enriches the meaning of the preceding three albums. Christy, take off the book. Just listen to the brilliant ensemble playing of Banks, Collins, and Rutherford. You could practically hear every nuance of every instrument. Sabrina, take off the dress. In terms of lyrical craftsmanship and sheer songwriting, this album hits a new peak of professionalism. Serena, do me a favor and uh, dance a little bit. Take the lyrics to Land of Confusion. Now in this song, Phil Collins addresses the problems of abusive political authority. In Too Deep is the most moving pop song of the 1980s about monogamy and commitment. The song is extremely uplifting. Their lyrics are as positive and affirmative as uh, anything I've ever heard about. Christy, get down on your knees so Sabrina could take a look at your ass. Phil Collins' solo career. Now, to me, it seems a bit more commercial. Therefore, it's more satisfying, but in a narrow way. Especially songs like In the Air Night and uh, Against All Odds. No, Sabrina, don't just stare at it. Eat it. 